Welcome to School Craft Community Library's Cooking with Tom. Today we're going to do sugar cookies because, well, it's Christmas time. And we're using my wife's great grandma bee's sugar cook recipe. This is ancient, like from the 70s. Just so, like you. Yeah, it's just like me. Thank <laughs> you. That's going to get cut. <laughs> okay, first, what you do, you put in, I am also having this because full batch is a lot of cookies but we'll have the full recipe on the website okay you put in one stick of butter one cup sugar granulated sugar and one half teaspoon of vanilla because you always need vanilla put it into your mixer and you cream all that together. We're going to kick on the turbines now so we're going to shut this off. Once your butter and sugar and vanilla is cream, you take your egg and you want sour milk. If you don't have sour milk, just take your milk and put a couple drops of vinegar in it. It'll sour it. But we bought this about two weeks ago so we've got sour milk. Pour that into your creamed sugar, put down the turbine again, and fire it up. Paul Hollywood would have wrote this recipe. It just gives you the ingredients. It doesn't tell you what to do with the ingredients. So listen carefully. Once you have your, your, your eggs and milk and sugar all looking really kind of gross. Do we need a picture? <laughs> sure, we need a Siri thinks we need a picture of the grossness. Kind of looks like, um, well, looks like sour milk. So if you get it and it looks gross, don't worry about it. That's the way it's supposed to look. It'll look better eventually. It should look better eventually. It will look better eventually. <laughs> Take your flour and dump it into your really gross looking mixture. And then turn the turbine back on just until it's mixed, okay? You don't want to over mix it. You just get it until it's, com it's combined and you're good to go. And in your dries, you had flour, baking soda, nutmeg, salt, and baking powder. If you use salt and butter, use a little less salt in your um, mixer. Okay. When you're done with, when your flour is all, all combined, put it onto a well floured surface. Feel it. These, these should be kind of a, a, a um, lighter dough. You don't want it really thick. This could probably use a little more flour, so we're up to about two and a half cups now. You might want to kind of work in another quarter cup of flour. But these are kind of a light dough. That's why they rise so nice and they taste so tasty. It's like making bread, folding a little bit more. Everybody out there has made bread. You know, everybody's made bread, of especially course. the old fashioned way. Make sure your oven is preheated to 400 degrees. Put your dough out here. You want it to be about a quarter inch thick. You want to really um, flour up your dough and your pan. That looks about right. It's been rolled out to about a quarter inch. Just take your favorite crisp, your favorite cookie cutter. Cut this one's awful nice. Leave this one here. Here's your cookie. Put it on your tray. And repeat as often as necessary. Once your cookies are all pressed out, put them on your sheet. Place them in the oven at 400 degrees for eight 
to nine minutes until they're just, you know, kind of golden on, golden on top. Cool them completely, then we'll frost them. The cookies have been in for about nine minutes. Pull them out, kind of brown on the edges. Pull them out, let them cool down. Put your next pan in. It's taking about nine minutes, so we'll do nine minutes again. Okay, let's cook this cool on the pan for about five minutes. Lift them off, put them on a cooling rack. They should be ready to frost in about 15 to 20 minutes. Your cookies are cooled, now it's time to make the frosting. Use half a stick of butter, half a thing of cream cheese, so four ounces of each. One teaspoon of vanilla. And you cream those. A bunch of butter and cream cheese is all whipped together. Put in your powdered sugar. Put it in half at a time. Trying to avoid the big cloud above your head. Once your first cup has been whipped in there, put the next cup in. I'm going to scrape down your bowl and then finish mixing it. The cookies Wait. have been cooked, frosted, and decorated. And they look so pretty. Must have gone off the track. <laughs> Let's see how they taste. Let's get a small one in there. Very tasty. Make it for Christmas. Your kids will love to do it, and you will have to clean it up. <laughs>